Hey everybody, welcome back to our final matchup of the evening for tonight's set of IGL matches. We've got the Flippin' Pippins versus Cheek Clappers. And both of these teams, I believe, have been on our stream before. I know for a fact the Flippin' Pippins have. And at least a few of the Cheek Clappers players have played on this stream before. They recognize some of the names and the, the DMs have history, so... Should be a, an exciting matchup between uh, two regulars on our stream. Let's take a quick look at the players for each of the each of the teams. For the Flip and Pippins, we've got Wayne Finkel, Pickles, Uninhuman, Falcon.png, and Migmatite. Now Falcon.png and Uninhuman have not played this circuit but the flip and pippins off to a great start anyways two and oh on the season 28 goals for as they've taken down the flying wet wipes and empire rough riders each of those teams taken down a three to two and now the flip and pippins looking to go three and oh on the season but they will have to get past the cheek clappers we've got clap cheeks one vibe Chili784 and ZK Zer. Now ZK Zer also has not played this circuit. But throughout six match or uh, throughout uh two weeks of games and seven matches, Chili has not scored. All of the goals have come through vibe and clap cheeks. And so it's gonna be really important for us to or and for this team to see Chile get on the scoreboard in order to try to outscore this Flippin' Pippin's offense who's firing on all cylinders. The Cleep Checkers won. The Cleep Cheek Clappers won 3-1 to one over Empire Rough Riders. Uh, so a better scoreline than the Flippin' Pippin's had against them. But then Cheek Clappers lost to Mad Titans Joshan 3-0. to zero. A big sweep last Saturday on Mr. B Epic's uh, Mr. B Epic uh, their stream. So Cheek Clapper's looking to get back into a positive uh, win record. And our journey to finding out which team is going to continue move uh, continue on the right form should be starting in just a few moments. So Wayne Finkel, very much the goal scorer for this team. 1.5 goals per game for them. For the Flippin' Pippins. And then Flippin' Pippins scoring 2.8 goals per game overall. Which is a very decent scoring record. They're also averaging 3.2 saves per game. So locking it down on the defensive end. And 75... Oh, this is a West Coast match? So for the Cheek Clappers, it looks like a lot of the plays are going to go through their top two players right there, Clap Cheeks and Vibe. Chili playing more of a support role, but it's going to be important that they do get involved when they need to. When they need to. Or else this strong flipping, flipping Pippin side is going to just tear them apart. So it's important that they get in on the action Maybe find their first goal of the circuit. But certainly need to help out Vibe and, and the Clap Cheeks with the offensive and the defensive duties. <laughs> I accidentally joined one of the teams. Here we have it, the Flippin' Pippins versus Cheek Clappers. A Tier 4 Division 5 U.S. West match. The, the demo's coming out from Chile early, and Migmatite tries to get an air dribble in, but it's not able to get it past anyone on the defense. Vibe is up for this one, trying to get a shot from off the back wall. But it's going to fall to Chile, he tries to get a shot, but it's blocked by Migmatite. Infield pass 
to Pickles. Clapsheet's gonna take possession, try to get it in field, and that one's gonna find the back of the net. Clap Cheeks getting the touch off the sidewall and then pushing it in field. And a big 50 on Migmatite means that Cheek Clappers have taken the lead 1 0. This one gonna go all the way over the orange net. And Pickles there to. Put it in field and Wayne Finkel. A great shot to tie it up. It's good pressure there from Pickles not giving up on the play. And Chile not able to reach it in time. That pass in field reaching Wayne Finkel. Puts a great shot to the right side. Oh, and Wayne Finkel might be able to get a kickoff goal here. And they do. Vibe, definitely the first one there. But Wayne Finkel timing it perfectly to win the kickoff. And send it back the other way towards the orange net. And just like that, the flipping Pippins are heading game number one. Wayne Finkel almost gets it over the top of Vibe. But Wayne Finkel gets demoed by Clap Cheeks. Now they're trying to combine for a pinch and it's almost going to come off, but not quite. Actually, popping that one onto the ceiling. And five trying to get the pass across and can't find the angles. Pickle's going to pick this one up around midfield. Gets it past Chili. Is going to keep working with it. Gets a 50 on another defender. Clap Cheeks coming in and is able to get the touch and a block on the Flippin' Pims defender that was right under them. Five going up for this one. That's going to be a touch infield. It's kind of a dangerous position. That was Wayne Finkel's up first. And is able to keep it in the midfield. Migma tight, getting a touch, trying to send it a bit across. Wayne Finkel back to the side that it came from, and Vibe is there first. The 50 going off of the ceiling. Migma tight, pass over to where Pickles is, and Pickles can only get a demo on Chili. Oh, <laughs> that shot, almost a pinch off of Wayne Finkel's hood. But it was a bit high and wide of the top corner. by getting this one out to the midfield, but not farther than Migmatite, who gives it up to Vibe. Oh, and that looks like it could go all the way. It's off the post. Oh, it was a great opportunity because the net was open, but the shot going just barely wide. It went off the post and out. Very close, and the Flippin Pippins now still hanging on to the lead, but not by much. I think that's a great 50 in the corner. Clap Cheek's going to touch it to the other side. Chili trying to gain control of it, but Clap Cheek's is able to get it out. Pickles, a big demo on Vibe, which eliminates the midfield option. And Wayne Finkel going to pick it up after Clap Cheek's gives up possession. Chili chain or... Thought about chasing that one into the corner, but they went tight. A big demo in the midfield. Pickles tries to get it inside, but it's met at the front post. Back pass by Wayne Finkel. The shot is going to be blocked by Migmatite for now, but there's two players up, and Pickles with a great interception. Now they can't quite get it past Chili, but Wayne Finkel downfield to Pickles. He puts a shot, and it's going to go wide of the back post. Migmatite, quick pressure, though. Not giving Chili any time to think I hardly any time to react clap cheeks sends it over to the left hand side then we tight downfield towards Wayne Finkel can they put it back inside and it's a big demo from Vibe who eliminates Migma tight oh clap cheeks trying to put it on target and it is very close They're going to type pushing this one off to the side. Wayne Finkel going to try to follow it up. And it's a doink from Clap Cheeks. Wayne Finkel with the dunk. It's off the backboard of it. Migmatite gets bumped. And is not able to continue the play. 
Piggles, pinch, gets some big wins. Tiny puts it to the top left corner, but it's barely wide. Wade Finkel comes in, and that is going to be three to one. 25 seconds left. Wayne Finkel finds a hat trick, and the flipping Pippins look set to take game number one. Oh, that's a nice looking car. Two goals in 25 seconds, not beyond the realm of possibility, but very unlikely. That's why I put this one off the back one. Might be able to get a follow up, but it's not quick enough. They're still able to get a touch. And <laughs> Slap Cheeks almost try sneaks it in. Chili gets a shot on target, but it's blocked by Magnetite. All the Cheek Clappers players in that back left corner. And that is going to be the end of game number one. Unless we can find a zero second goal here from Vibe. It doesn't happen. And I'm not sure why their full name's not up there. That's the second time that that's happened to me that I typed in the full uh, team name. Man, it doesn't show up. So the Flippin' Pippins looking the stronger team in game number one. Wayne Finkel absolutely continuing with their goal scoring records, uh, with their goal scoring record right now. Averaging 1.5 goals per game. The Clap Cheeks going to get it started for us this time for the Cheek Clappers. Pickles' touch inside, not met by anybody but clap. And a good uh, capitalization on that opportunity is that the cheek clappers take the early lead within just a couple seconds. Can they catch the flipping Pippins off guard before they can get their offense going again? Wayne Pickles saying that went downfield, but it's intercepted by Vibe. Pickles with the whiff there, so Vibe is able to continue going with it. Gonna let Migmatite have the ball and buy the huge demo on Wayne Finkel. A giant play from Vibe. As Chili latches onto Migmatite's touch, and Wayne Finkel completely elim eliminated from the play. And a perfect shot to the back corner means that Cheek Clappers now up two to zero. And they're looking to give the flipping pippins a run for their money. In this series. Five shot on target. Or the shot off target. Sent wide of the target. Chili is able to get that one to the side. And Pop Cheeks now has to deal with the aftermath. Chili going to cut this one off. It looks like they might have double committed with the teammate there. The Flint Pippen's looking to put up some sustained pressure. And not allow... Oh, Pickles going in for the bump of his Migmatite able to create a play quick enough. And the cannon vibe is able to send it down to the other side of the field. Pickles a little bit late on the rotation, but they're still able to get a block on vibe. And that ball goes over. Clap cheeks. Pickles looking to try to make something happen. Wayne Finkel is up. They beat Chili, and that's going to go wide of the net. Follow up not going to happen as Clap cheeks sends it to the other side. And it's a good left over Pickles. <laughs> That pitch going straight to the ceiling. And Wayne Finkel there to it first. Pickle's going to pop this one onto the back wall. And one of their teammates will almost there to beat it. Wayne Finkel going for a crazy play. They just couldn't make contact on the ball. They're going to try again, bringing the ball out from midfield. Downfield pass towards Migmatite, and Pickle's going to follow it again. Wayne Finkel, their touch keeps it in the midfield, and Vive's touch does the exact same thing. Migmatite picking this one up. It's going to be on target. Can Chili reach it in time? Oh, they could, but it's off the side post. 
Enigma Tide is able to get it to one to two. And just at halftime, we've cut the deficit in half. And now the Flippin' Pivot's only down by one. Big 50 high on the backboard between Vibe and Wayne Finkel. Pickles picking it up now. Gets it to the back po or the back wall, but Chili is able to clear it away. So a hot start for the Cheek Clappers. It'll look to... Oh, excuse me. Like I was saying, the Cheek Clappers up to a, a, a good start. Um... But the flipping pivots have settled in now, and are look to gonna look to create the sustained opportunities of pressure to just break down the cheek clappers' defense and the midfield pressure, and try to pull themselves back into this game. They've already found one. There's plenty of time for a second, especially with the way the Wayne Finkel has been playing, absolutely on it in the first match. That's a great touch by Chili to get it past Pickles and Vibe is there. To put it into the net. The great beat from Chili on both of those defenders. And Vibe in the right spot to make sure that the play is finished off. And the lead back to two for the Cheek Clappers. And Vibe going up for that one. That shot going wide, and Vibe is able to clear it. The big touchdown field. Oh, and the big whiff! A double whiff from the Flippin' Pippin's defense. And Vibe is able to, to capitalize off some catastrophic defending from the Flippin' Pippins. A double whiff in the 18-yard box. That is huge for the Cheek Clappers, and Vibe is going to make it five. A hat trick for them is going to cap off a great game number two, as this looks like it's getting a little too far out of reach for the Flippin' Pippins now. Although there is a possibility of a Brazil. We did see a, a Brazil in one of our series earlier today. Perhaps we'll be treated to another one. Pickles picking this one up, getting it out to the midfield. Is able to beat one, and the touch is, is towards Wayne Finkel, but Clap Cheeks able to get there first. Migma tight off the back wall, just looking to get in the way of a player. And now they're lurking in the midfield. Wayne Finkel off the back wall. Migma tight is there, and that is going to make it two. Three goals in 30 seconds. Like I said last game, score lines like that, not impossible. But it will take three very quick goals in order for the comeback to be complete. Oh, Vibe whiffing that one with one of the Flippin' Pimmons defenders. A back pass from Pickles to Migmatite. That one hit downfield by Wayne Finkel. Wayne Tide trying to get on it, but the cheek clapper stopping it at the midfield. Wayne Finkel might be able to get that one on target. They do, but Cleep Jack. Clap. Clap Cheeks was able to get it. And they do get a second save within a couple seconds to preserve the lead. And, Cle and Cheek Clappers <laughs> winning 5 to 2. Oh my goodness. There's cheek clappers, chili, and clap cheeks. There's too many. Too many of you. <laughs> but cheek clappers taking advantage of every opportunity that they got. Five shots, five goals for them. It was a great showing from them to tie up the series at one apiece.
as we now head into game three where we're gonna see who's gonna break that deadlock and put themselves on match point chili popping this one off to the sidewall Clapchi sending that one to the middle. It's touched away by Wayne Finkel. Five is going to get the shot, and it's saved by Wayne Finkel. I think it still touched that front post. I'm not quite sure. It was, it was, nevertheless, very close. Five puts it off the backboard. Clap cheeks with the follow up, but it's boom downfield by Wayne Finkel. Oh, can they latch onto it? Flippin' Pivot still could have a chance here. But Clap is able to get it away. The fall it high up on the wall. Send it downfield. Might be able to fall in the air, but Wayne Finkel is going to get there early enough. Pickles reading the downfield touch. Reads Chili's touch per to perfection. Is able to get it off the back wall. Wayne Finkel coming in. And can't get a shot on target. Look for the uh, backtracking demos. Wayne Finkel sending that one towards the net once again. It was going wide, but it's put back in field by the cheek defense. It was my field to get this one, but it's going to go high. Migma Tight is able to keep on this half. This is a good spread of possession for the Flippin' Pippins. Can they make it count? Can they continue to suffocate the, cle the cheek clappers? And eventually leave them without boost. And force the opportunities to open up. Pickles picking it up past Clap, but not past Vibe. And that touch going off the back wall. Chili is there, but it's touched away by the blue defense. Clap Cheeks touch infield off the backboard. There's a player up! And Vibe gets the first goal of game number three. The first one for the cheek clappers in this game. And Vibe has been on it right now. A hat. Was it a hat trick in game number one? Maybe it was four goals? Either way, Vibe keeping it going here in the next game. And if they could keep putting in the goals, cheek clappers are going to continue to be a threat for this team or for going to be a threat against the flipping pippins Five gets a demo on Wayne Finkel which allows clap cheeks to bring it out into the blue half vibe up once again and it gets over Wayne Finkel and vibe is absolutely on fire right now it took their team a little bit of time to get warmed up Giving away go uh, game number one. But Vibe has, is now firing on all cylinders. And the Cheek Clapper is looking very dangerous now. 2-0 up. Just past halftime. Ligmatite still only on 14 points. And we know the points aren't everything. But that seriously has... It shows a serious lack of involvement from Ligmatite at this stage in the match. On oh, Pickles, that might be it in, and it will be. Five gives it away at midfield, and Pickles reading it wonderfully. And a great recovery off the sidewall as well. Allows them to beat the last defender and touch it over to that back post. The Flippin' Pimmons saw themselves in this position last time. Can they complete the comeback, or do Cheek Clappers have yet another fantastic response to being up 2-1? to one? Pickles, that's going to be a good shot, but it's blocked by Clap Cheeks. And it's met by <laughs> Migmatite. And finally, Migmatite is able to get involved into the, in the game. Good recognition that all of the defenders were going to be slow to that. And Mimitai able to capitalize and put the Flippin' Pippins level with a minute 36 to go. Mimitai winning the kickoff, but Clap able to get there before Pickles could. Wayne Finkel off to the sidewall. It's put back into the middle. Chili pops it up high. Wayne Finkel is going to try to get the touch. It's a whiff. 
and Chili. I don't know if they had a goal in the first two games, but this could be their most important one yet, regardless of whether it was or not. Chili unable to get a goal in the first two weeks of circuit play, but they found a very important one for Cheat Clappers here in game three. Oh, and Vibe is going to get yet another hat trick. Clap Cheeks, a beautiful pass. Crossfield off the wall on a dime to Vibe. He slots it to the right-hand side on an empty net. And Cheek Clappers have that response that I thought they might. Oh, can Chili get two here? But it's blocked by Migmatite. Clapchik's going to take it up to the corner. Touch it in field right in front of the blue net and nobody's going to capitalize. Wenfinkel going to have to carry it out now. Vibe gets in their way and Chili able to get a touch to keep it at midfield. They're able to beat Migmatite as well. Wenfinkel getting a demo on Clapchik's. It's going to allow Pickles some time to pick up the ball and do what they want. They get it past two and they're going to turn away from it and allow Wayne to, to pressure here. A good demo on Vibe to remove Pickles from the play. But Migmatite now two goals in. Migmatite turning it on in the second half. And a, and a roller on the ground able to get it past Vibe who is flying across the face of the goal. Only one goal down. 35 seconds is how much time the Flippin' Pippins have to get it. But that is a disastrous kickoff. And Vibe, with their fourth goal, may have sealed the deal. A very speedy kickoff, able to beat the first def the the other player coming for the kickoff, and slot it through, just uh, in between them and the player who was following the kickoff. Back-to-back -back five goal games for the Cheek Clappers. Oh, are they able to keep this one out? Make a tight shot off the backboard. Wayne Finkel's up for it. Can Pickles get a shot on? That's going to go inside and clap Cheek's able to get a touch out. And waste a couple so uh, seconds off the clock. And Chili going to take it away. And Cheek Clappers now on match point after some fantastic offense in games number two and Do we have okay? We have, we have everybody. Let's see. I thought they may have joined just a little bit too quickly there, but we now head into game number four between the Flippin' Pippins and Cheek Clappers. Both of these teams, Tier Four Division Five U.S. West three v three teams. Oh, and Migmatai was ready to come in for a slamming shot, but they got bumped away in Chile. Almost able to get it to the opposite net. Pickles winning a 50 here in the corner, and they're able to keep it up at midfield. But Chili able to blast it downfield. It's going to go off the corner. Can they block Pickles? They won't be able to. That was sent in field, but Migmatai going to have the advantage. Can they pick it up and get a shot on target? Oh, it might be wide. It is, and it's off the post, and Pickles was able to come in. And clean it up, make sure that they make that opportunity count. And 1 0 now. The scoreline in favor of Flip and Pippins. 44 seconds into game number four. Can they hang on to the lead, though? Or are the Cheat Clappers going to be able to find all of the goals that they've been 
scoring in games two and three. Vibe able to get this past one, but Pickles is there to push it wide. Chili fifties it towards the middle, and it's <laughs> it was looking like a great opportunity for Clap Cheeks to tie it up, but no contact was made. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, and that touch off the orange defender, and Wayne Finkel comes in and cleans up shop once again. A couple whiffs there, and then the missed touch from Vibe in front of the net. And Wayne Finkel able to come in. It's now 2-0 to zero for the Flippin' Pippins. But they will have to be sure that they hung, hang on to this lead tight. And possibly add on to it. And they will. Pickles grabbing their brace. And now a minute 30 in. And we're up 3-0 to zero for the Flippin' Pippins. Fury coming in with a huge raid of 12 people. Welcome, everybody. Fury, I hope you had a fantastic night of casting, and thank you for bringing everybody here. Middle of the pack gaming, thank you very much for the follow. We've got a very big series here between the Flippin' Pippins and Cheek Clappers. Flippin' Pippins taking game number one, but Cheek Clappers responding with back-to-back -back five gold games. Vibe has been on fire with back-to-back -back hat tricks as well. And four goals in game number three. But now we have the Flippin' Pippins on game number four. And Wayne Finkel adding to the scoreline. 4-0 for the Flippin' Pippins. Firing that one to the bottom right-hand side. No chance that Chili was going to block that one. And this game getting further out of hand for the Cheek Clappers. There's still a lot of time... But they're going to need to make sure that they don't allow the Flippin' Pippins to get too comfortable heading into game number five. Or else that could be disastrous for them. Pickles meeting this one and putting it to the side. Well, but Vibe continuing the goal scoring pulls one back. Is this the point where the Cheek Clappers start scoring all of their all of their goals? Or can the Flippin' Pippins hang on for their lives? And make sure that all of those goals were not in vain. Clap Cheeks pushing it out right. Oh, and Pickles with the whiff. So Orange going to get it downfield, but Wayne Finkel meeting it at the midfield line. Five that looks to be good. Clap Cheeks was looking for the bumps, but Pickles was able to get up first. And now Wayne Finkel going to bring it downfield, able to beat Clap Cheeks to the ball. Pushes it in field, but Vibe with a great clearance downfield. Chili going to turn on it. It's on the back wall, but there were two uh, Cheek Clappers players up there. Clap Cheeks looking for a big dunk on Pickles, but the ball was still able to roll out wide. The Flint Pimmons doing well to break out now, but they need to make sure that they can not allow the Cheek Clappers to just send it back the other way. Vibe, a good setup. That shot just high. Is the follow up going to come in? It's far down and out. Oh my goodness. So unlucky there for the Cheek Clappers because that would have been a, a very important goal for them. If it was not to be. Pickle's going to pick up their savior medal. Big with tight. Pushing this one into the orange half, but Vibe way up high on the wall. Can, trying to get on the score sheet once again and it'll give their team a chance at a comeback and possibly take it to overtime if that's what it, if that's what it means. We have to go a little bit slow to bring it out, but that's fine for them because the time is in their favor. Just over a minute left. <laughs> Big play from Migmatai. A good fake there, but Vibe not having any of it. It takes them out of the play. Chili almost getting a goal there, but Migmatite with the save. Clap Cheeks not able to get the touch of Wayne Fingal, booming it high onto the wall. Where they're able to meet it again. Clap Cheeks picking this one up. A good pop up. But Migmatite keeping it on this side. Another slow play from Migmatite. And they're working because the clean check, the 
cheek clappers are in a rush and they're gonna dive in on everything that they can to try to win possession back. Pickle sending that one towards the midfield. Wayne Finkel gonna take it now. Oh, can they get a consolation goal? They are Wayne Finkel. Or I'm sorry, I got my scores all confused. They're gonna get another goal. Absolutely the nail in the coffin. So much happening that I'm losing track of who's who, who's on what side. But Wayne Finkel, a big fifth gold for the flip of Pippins. The nail in the dagger. Or the nail in the coffin. The dagger in the, for this match. And are now our third straight five goal game. This time, though, it's for the flip of Pippins. And we are headed to game number five of this series. Which is which of these teams is going to have their offense firing on all cylinders right now? The Cheek Clappers had still more opportunities than the Flippin' Pippins. But the, <laughs> but the Cheek Clappers just not able to convert all their chances and the Flippin' Pippins putting up a fantastic defensive showing. Pickles is absolutely right there. This is a fantastic series, a really great matchup. And really, both of these both of these teams fully deserving of a win here, but unfortunately, only one of them can take home the win. The Flippin' Pippins looking to make it their third win for the circuit to continue their undefeated run. And the Cheek Clappers looking to make their record positive once again. After falling last week to one of the Mad Titans teams. But here we are, game number five between the Flippin' Pippins and the Cheek Clappers, and Chili started us off with a big kickoff win. And by popping this one up, gonna follow in the air, but Wayne Finkel up for it very early. Recognizing how dangerous Vibe has been. Oh, but that is a big whiff for Pickles! And Chili was flying in and just could not make contact. Wayne Finkel now taking it down the opposite way, but Clap able to get it to the wall. But it looks like it might be Wayne Finkel versus Vibes here. Which of these players is going to come out on top? But Clap Cheeks now putting them, themselves in the running. Like, hey, don't forget about me. I can score goals too. And a big leap to get over Pickles and put the, the Cheek Clappers up 1-0. to zero, Just 33 seconds into game number 5. Oh, and that is a huge miss from the Clapper's defense. It wasn't able to be capitalized on by the Flippin' Pippins offense. But they still might be able to build some momentum out, out of this. Oh, a double with there. Pickles is up for it first. But a big block from Clap Cheeks. Wayne Finkel trying to keep it alive. Vibe is there at the front post to keep it in the corner. Bigma tight now on it. Still can't get it past Vibe. Pickles to the left side. And it's one to one. Between these two teams, this series has been very much back and forth. Flippin' Pippins taking game one, two and three going for the Clappers. And then the Pippins responding with a five goal game of their own in game number four. And now we're tied up one to one between these two amazing teams in tier four division five. Clapchick's trying to get around it, but they can't do so before Pickles comes in. Gonna leave it for Migmatite, who touches it towards the middle. That touch in a dangerous spot and shows it's off the back foot, and Vibe is up for it! Top left corner for Vibe. Two to one for the Cheek Clappers. A beautiful touch from Chili to put it off the backboard, and an even better follow for Vibe. Absolutely, Chris. This is incredibly close. An incredibly close 
game and an overall incredibly close match. Clap Chiefs stopping that one at the midfield, but Pickles up for it off the ceiling, touch and field, but Vibe gonna get there first. Last touch does come off of the, the, the Pippins player and Mimitai sending it downfield once again. Vibe is able to get that touch out to midfield. Wayne Fingal up for it first. But Clap Cheeks able to get, get there. Beats Pickles as well. And Vibe coming in. And it's 3-1 to one for the Cheek Clappers. This is a huge play from Clap Cheeks to get it past both of those defenders and set up Vibe, who has just been putting them in left and right throughout this entire series. Kick off in favor of the Pippins, but Vibe quickest there once again. Decided to go, or thought about going up for it, but allows Clap Cheeks to go for it. Pass in field! Then it's cleared away by Wayne Finkel. Vibe picks that one up to the midfield. Oh, man, we tied a huge whiff. Can Vibe capitalize? It's out to Clap Cheeks, who's following it from the back wall. Pass off the backboard, and Vibe. Four to one, two minutes and 23 seconds left. And Cheek Clappers have a three goal lead over the flipping Pippins, who now need a serious shift in the momentum in order to stay in game number five. The Cheek Clappers looking just that little bit faster than the flipping Pippins. But it's still a close game. And the Flippin' Pippins, based on what they did last uh, last game, you can't rule them out just yet with two minutes left in this game. Oh, Wayne Finkel can't quite read that one. His clap cheeks is going to pick it up. Low boost, though, so they can't follow it all the way. That's a whiff from Pickles. And cheat or Chili. Another big goal that just might put it out of reach for the Flippin' Pippins. Chile, no goals in the first two series of the circuit, but has come up with some huge goals and very important ones here in week number three of the spring circuit. Clap cheeks, picking this one up on the right side, puts it off the backboard. It's slightly off the corner too, but it's an interception made by 2v1. Uh, or 1v2 against the Flippin' Pippins attackers. Pickles putting it off the back wall. Vibe doesn't look like they have a lot of boost, but they are able to get the touch. Maybe with tight, a big 50, but he falls to clap cheeks. And Chili going to push this one wide. Pickles might be there first, and it's a good 50 with Vibe. Wayne Finkel off the back wall. It's off the corner as well, and then not able to capitalize. A minute left, four goals. They need to score one soon if they want any chance at getting back into this game. Five big clearance downfield off the hood of Migmatite. Oh, they thought about getting that shot as well, but couldn't quite read how it was going to come up off the walls. And Chile, a bicycle kick to keep it up. Clap, putting it into the blue one. Vibe trying to get out of the blue net. Big Matai, not a lot of boost. And the Cheek Clappers going to be the winners of this absolutely insane series. All of their wins coming with five goals in their favor. Their second goal or their second game by a five to one scoreline. But not that final match, not representative at all of the series that we just witnessed. Back and forth all the way. Until the Cheek Clappers ran away with it in those past in those last two to three minutes. You're very welcome, Pickles, for the cast. And oh my goodness, what a series. We have been treated to some phenomenal games this this week 
and they just seem to keep coming. Good luck to the Cheek Clappers and to the Flippin' Pippins as they continue on with the circuit. Both of these teams now 2-1, and one, and both of them showing why they can be very threatening when it's their day on offense. But Flip Pippins, even though they take the loss on that match, should still feel very proud of themselves for making it overall a very close series. They're able to put up a five-goal game up for themselves as well after those two big games from the Cheek Clappers.